Hello, Facebook fans and YouTube fans of DX Engineering. It's Thursday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone of the United States of America. It's time for the Manufacturer Showcase. And today, we are going to highlight some products from DX Engineering. And I want to welcome Aaron, KDAWHA. Uh, Aaron works for DX Engineering. He is, uh, Aaron, you, uh, <clears throat> back when we had Hamvention in 2019, you were the demo guy uh, for our coax uh, stripping tools and crimp tools. And so uh, what are you going to talk about today, Aaron? Well, today we're talking about our crimp prep tools, uh, the prep tools for any uh, crimp style connections uh, from your PL259 to the end type connectors. Uh, they're a really great tool along with our cable grip tool to help hold the cable in place while you're stripping the ends for your crimp on style connections. Okay, so why don't you uh, see how close we can get the camera, and we'll go to uh, just uh, just you on camera and uh, tell us what kind of uh, cable it is, and uh, tell us uh, all about the uh, the prep tool. Okay, well the the prep tools are specifically designed to do each layer of cut. You've got your three separate blades to do the three separate cuts required. As you can see on the sample that I've got here, the cut back where the braid is, cut back where the dielectric is, and then cut back leaving some of the braid to to bond with where the crimp comes comes into play. And then our cable grip tool is a great tool to be able to hold on to the cable so it doesn't slip, fall yeah. all the way on that. Show us how that works. How's, how does the grip uh, work? Okay, well, the grip tool is spring-loaded, so it makes it convenient and easy once it's on the cable you don't have to worry about accidentally letting go and losing track of it. it stays on the cable you add a little bit more pressure and with the groove set inside of the tool here it snugs up right onto the cable and keeps it from slipping when you're while you're stripping your cable so okay. what i usually do is i put it a little ways back open up my is this RG uh, is this RG two thirteen, Aaron? Uh, yes, that is uh, our DX and DX Engineering two thirteen cable. Okay. You got a channel inside of the the strip tool. You lie your cable up inside of it to where it presets where each of the blades go. Then you can slide your gripper right up to the back of the tool and hold it in place. So while you're cutting. The cable it doesn't slip out of your way and it makes your job a little bit easier so what i like to do with this tool is it's kind of a sawing motion you got to remember you've got three blades flat up against the cable you don't want to spin it or it won't do a good proper cut you rock it back and forth and then you work your way around until you hear the actual braid cutting underneath the tool i don't know if you can hear that i'll bring it up to the mic see if you can hear the braid here put it back down where we can see it there uh, yeah. okay there you go. and work your way around until it loosens up and cuts through the braid and then after it does the first initial cuz when i like to go back and forth several times to make sure i get any loose braid that i missed And once you believe that you have a good solid cut there, you open up the tool, keeps everything nice and neat in place till you spin the tool around. And you've got a fourth blade in here that slices the jacket and removes all the debris. So you slide it back into its designated channel, slide that down, and then you pull it off, which holds most of the debris right inside. And then you can see you have your pre-cut selections for the style of connector that you're putting on all right so and go ahead each, one, oh, each yep. one comes right on off comes right off and you have your nice little each step to be able to apply your crimp on connector and then crimp your connector in place all right give us a side shot there of that yeah side shot. yeah very nice very nice okay so now <clears throat> you're ready to crimp on the connector right that is correct. Yeah, 
And so we're, we're demonstrating, Aaron is demonstrating today the uh, DX engineering prep tools and uh, crimp tools for putting on the connector. Okay, okay, uh, Aaron, go ahead and uh, put your, he's getting everything ready here. We're going to, and this is live TV, so it's, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, there's the connector. There we go. All right. This is a connector with the barrel. Can slide okay. it right into place. Pull back the braid a little bit. Okay. Slide the barrel right in. Connector slides right up over top of the braid. All right, and that's that's the DX Engineering PL259. Yes, that is correct. And, and as you can see in the connector there, it's to the perfect spot for soldering once you're done. Right. Slide it into the crimp tool. And you are done. All Look you need to do that. is apply a little bit of solder to the end and you're ready to rock. So you, you have to solder the center conductor, but the yes. shield is uh, fully crimped. And uh, the full bond all the way around with the, the mechanical bond with the, the crimp. Boy, is that beautiful. That is really nice. And uh, it, it is, uh, it's quick. I mean, when you, oh, yeah. uh, you went, uh, I mean, you weren't in a race or anything, but you got it all prepped and then you did the crimp and bing, bang, boom, it's done. Oh, yeah. And then the best part about this tool is it likes to hold on to your debris in there where you can get it to the trash can and discard your, your waste. Or if you're out in the field, then, you know, you let it fall to the ground but right but you know i i had <clears throat> in the carpet here in the shack is is full of little pieces of copper aaron oh yeah years <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, just... yeah, they, they get everywhere <laughs> <laughs> they, they do so um what do you have for like rg8x can, can you do an rg8x oh yeah rg8x let's get this one out of the way box over there so this comes in this kit known as the CC1, and while Aaron's getting ready, I'm going to show you the, uh, the CC1, and, uh, and I'm going to need the, that replaced. And, then the and hopefully everybody sees the CC1, but this has, uh, these are all the uh, cable prep tools and um, there's also diagonal cutters and small snips, and um, you can also uh, get replacement blades. So it's a uh, full cool stuff. I mean, it's a very nice looking kit uh, for cable prep. And then uh, these are uh, some of the uh, stripping tools uh, that we have also uh, in a kit form as well. So uh, that's known as the complete coax cable toolkit the dxe ut kit four so back, back to you aaron yep and uh they're they're color coded to where you can tell which ones is which you've got uh, the larger cable with the red and the orange coloring we've got the green coloring for the 8x so same thing it's the same setup you've got your three blades on the one side and your single blade to be able to remove all the debris from it. And we also have the, the correct tool, the crimp tool to be able to crimp down on the barrel for the 8X style cable. Okay. And it's done the same setup as before is we've also got the, the cable grippers, smaller for the 8X. Smaller for the 8X. Same Right. Same thing. It has it spring loaded, so once it's on your cable, you don't have to worry about losing it. And a channel for the ADEX to slide on into. Okay. Get it to where you need it to go. Slide the grippers right up to it to keep it from wobbling and moving around on you. And it would be the exact same procedure of sawing it and rotating it until you get through the jacket, the braid, and the dielectric. 
to give you your pre-settings for the crimp connector. So we'll get that around a couple of times. And after I saw it, I like to spin it a few more times. Just make sure it cut through. And you open her up. You can see each level of cut. Spin it around, put it into the opposite channel here. Be able to slice and pull it off. As you can see, it's got everything set up for the length of braid, length yeah, sure of the electric, and length of center conductor. A side view there, Aaron. Oh. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's very nice. Ready to go. And same thing with 8X. Got your barrel. Slip on over top. Put that ferrule on, okay. Yeah, oh, I got the braid in the way. Pull the braid back forward. Barrel slides right over top. Yep. Got the connector. Slide right into place. Do that. And slide the barrel up into place. Goes right in the channel. Crimp and done. Done. Have, just have to solder the center. Yep, just have to solder the center. A little bit of solder in the center there, and it's good to go. And it's a silver-plated connector, Aaron, so it takes solder real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now, we could uh, we could solder uh, these in no, no time whatsoever. Now, Aaron, you've been working at DX Engineering for a long time. Do you want you want to take a guess how many connectors you put on coax cables? Ooh, uh, back when I was doing Strictly Cables, I was doing at least 50 cables a day, so 100 cables a Hundred connectors a day uh, for a year. I think I, I did that nonstop for a while. So <laughs> <laughs> no, I, know, yeah, I know I did my fair share. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know we use uh, a different uh, machine to do all the uh, stripping and things. But how do you, how do you think those tools work compared to uh, you know our tools that you just showed? How do they compare to like a Stanley knife? Oh, they, they work great. You know, there's no guesswork in it. Uh, everything's self-contained. It cuts right through it, no problem. In fact, uh, when I was doing the demonstrations down in Hamvention, I'd, I'd never have to change the blades in this tool the whole time I was demonstrating, which I was doing a good 20, 30 demonstrations easily each day there for the three days that we, we were doing it. Not a single hiccup not a single problem in fact the only reason why i change the blade so i don't have to worry about them afterwards but i've yet come across a dull blade from the, the amount of cables I've, I've done so you could probably get a couple good couple hundred cuts on on these without even noticing the blade getting getting dull one bit wow uh, so we have a couple of comments here aaron a couple of questions too uh, w3rga says if you're not using a dxc prep tool you're torturing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Aaron says, um, said, this presentation is not crimping my style. This looks good. And uh, Anthony says, I have four and they are good. And uh, let's see. We also have some uh, Ron, WB3 Lima Hotel Delta says, I have to get one of those. <laughs> and um, uh, Tim says, uh, nice. You guys have made PL259 ends easy like the BNC. And our friend Herm says uh, it's a great show. And uh, Aaron says, bing, bang, boom, it's done. And I mean, it's just really but quick. If you're doing cables from home, that's, you know, you wouldn't have any other tool. Right. It makes life so much easier. And HCWU says, much easier than soldering the braid. Works great. Bought the kit and love it. And uh, let's see. Uh, Carmen uh, KP4QVQ from Puerto Rico says, hi, I learn more every time. Uh, thanks. And um, 
N5KM says, is there a strip tool for the small RG400 coax? Uh, Chris, we are working on it and we will have, we were just talking about that earlier this afternoon and we will have one soon. So uh, thanks for, just stay tuned to the website. We will have the RG400 tool soon. And uh, I wanna say hello to our friend, Mike, KE3 Juliet Papa. And uh, Joe, the cat in the hat, uh, K0NEB says, does the kit come with the grippers? How about that, Aaron? Yes. Oh, yeah. Comes with everything that you'd need. In fact, it uh, comes with also side of uh, side slops to be able to cut off it just in case you make a mistake or you want to square up your, your cable beforehand before you use it. And a uh, set of these little nips to be able to trim up any excess braid that might be getting in the way when you're doing the crimp. And I believe it also comes with a set of extra spare blades just in case you ever need to, to change them out for a sharp, sharper set and then that, that case is real nice too because it, oh, yeah. it all snaps together keeps everything organized and um yeah everything fits where it should got the stuff for rg213 oh, yeah. for rg8 like this yeah isn't that beautiful look Good at that solid case you yep. got all your tools in one spot double locking on the sides got them nice. ready to go and when you need them they're right there and they're de they're Nice little spots. Yep. And uh, Victor Kilo 2, India Zulu, of course, it's uh, Friday morning over in Australia. He's just getting up. Gone are the days of using a Stanley knife. Great product. And uh, Nelson says, are the blades replaceable if necessary? And Aaron just answered that. So we're good there. Our friend Ray Novak from ICOM, he says, I have been lazy and purchased my cables made to lengths that I need. Uh, of course, from DX Engineering, I may need to get one of those. And uh, uh, <laughs> Skip Longpath uh, says, and no knife wounds. And uh, so <laughs> that's uh, great. And uh, Herm, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Herm says, I think that this show is very well done with, uh, with the tips. That's from Whiskey Charlie 8 Hotel. And uh, Joe says, some people still try to solder LMR style cable. Bad idea. Not only is it a bad idea, Joe, but that's not the way that LMR or DXE 400 Max was designed to work. You are not to sh solder that shield um, because there's two shields there, the foil shield and the braid shield, and it must be crimped. Otherwise, you're not going to get good connections between those two shields. And Aaron, uh, you know, DXE 400 Max is one of our most popular cables. So, oh, yeah. Yes, it is. And uh, that's also... Some of the, like I said, I've got some uh, pre-prepped pre ones here that it does a great job on those as well, getting these yeah. prepped and ready for the crimp. Nice, nice. And uh, so uh, Herm says, I'll be ordering the kit or kits. Yeah, you, you need the uh, prep kit and you need the crimp uh, or the uh, the uh, actual strip tools as well and, uh, and a crimper and some connectors, right, Aaron? Oh, yeah. We sell them uh, by, uh, I believe, uh, six pack, 12 pack, and 24 packs of uh, connections, depending on how big your jobs are. And uh, Larry says, do you recommend shrink wrap on the uh, on the end of the crimp? And uh, yes, we do. Yeah. Um, yes, we do. Uh, we didn't show that today, but you would, uh, I mean, Aaron, you would normally put uh, oh, yeah. heat shrink back there. Yeah. Definitely anything from home and uh, doing cables here at work, uh, we, we heat shrink everything on them. Right. And uh, anything on the LMR 400, yes, these tools uh, work on the LMR 400 and the DXE 400 Max. Um, and uh, see, Ed, uh, N3CGK, our friend Eddie, he says, great looking set. Thanks for being on, Eddie. And uh, uh, Aaron, what about LMR 400 UF, the Ultraflex? Flex, yes, that they, they work on those as well. Okay. And uh, Skip says, also check out the DXE YouTube site for other videos on these tools because uh, uh, there are lots of uh, DX engineering videos that show how these all the tools uh, work. And uh, Larry, K6 Radio Oscar says, I bought a set and I hope to use it soon. And uh, Herm says, I came in late. What is the kit called? What, what part numbers do we have there? Okay, the full kit, uh, you're looking at uh, DXE UT Kit CC1. 
or the individual tools if you're only doing a one type of cable we've got uh, either the 240c n1 p1 or the 405c n1 p1 and hold that up uh, the grip tools. okay yeah hold that up there we go full screen that would be great as well and just tilt it uh the other way oh nope there we go that's better okay yeah there's the uh the DXE UT kit CC1. And then uh, as far as the strip uh, goes, that is the strip. I'm sorry. Uh, the strip would be the, the would be the 240C or the 405C. And then the grip tools over here on the other side, the opposite page, the CGH uh, 8X or the CGH uh, 8U. Okay. Very good. And uh, let's see. Uh, great presentation. Yeah. Greeting from across the pond to Echo Zero Bravo India Norway from the United Kingdom. And our friend Jerry K1SO says, ordering one today. My shack will look so much neater. And uh, of course, Skip uh, mentions that DX Engineering also sells the heat shank with the adhesive inside for the connectors. And that's real important, Aaron, to have that adhesive. Yeah, that, that once it's heated down, shrunk down into place, it sticks right to the metal, sticks right to the jacket keeps everything nice and water, water tight, keeps it, uh, keeps it from corroding and gives a long life to your connectors. And uh, Brian W7JET says more quality from DX Engineering. And uh, then there's also links that go right to these parts on the DX Engineering website and they're in the uh, chat room as well. And uh, I wanna say hello to uh, Papa Yankee 2 Bravo November and uh, and Robert the Traveler, that's WD8 November. Victor November says, I learned how to do that easier. So there you go. At, uh, you're teaching a lot of people there, Aaron. Well, Aaron, thanks so much for coming on today uh, for the Manufacturer Showcase. And uh, I'm really hopeful that um, in 2022, you'll be doing your uh, stripping and crimping demonstrations at Hamvention. What do you think? Uh, I, I wouldn't miss it for the world, Tim. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a good time. And uh, thanks for all you do for DX Engineering. And uh, you're, uh, you've got a, a great setup there. And uh, you've got uh, a lot of experience with cable and connectors. So you are definitely the crimp guy. And uh, we're proud of it. So thank you, Aaron. Uh, thank you, Tim. Okay. That's it for this Thursday. Tune in tomorrow afternoon at 4 o'clock. It'll be the weekend special here at K3LR, and we do have some exciting stuff to talk about tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. That's 4 o'clock Eastern time. That's 2100 Zulu Friday for the weekend special. For now, 73 from DX Engineering.